What up, guys? It's Monday at 6.30, so that means I am live here on YouTube. What is up? It's Dr. Pintset, the pre-med productivity expert, and I was off for a couple days last week uh, because a good friend of mine who was in uh, residency uh, at 31 years old suffered a stroke, and I thought that'd be a good discussion point for some of you guys in terms of personal care and taking care of yourself and understanding the value of wellness, and I think it shines a spotlight on the fact that there isn't a lot of emphasis on medical student, on resident, on physician wellness. And if you're not careful, uh, you can get wrapped up in this bubble and have major, major consequences for your life. Jesslyn, what is up? Congratulations, Jesslyn, uh, my soon-to-be doctor. Jesslyn just got accepted to medical school, y'all. Everyone uh, send Jocelyn out or Jesslyn out some love right now for getting accepted to medical school. Um, so anyway, uh, so last week I come into work and uh, I come into work and I find out that uh, one of my good buddies actually suffered a stroke uh, the night before and had been admitted. Um, and I go see him. Turns out he has uh, lost use of one side of his body and lost use of his speech. And uh, so it's very, very, uh, it was disheartening to say the least when I came in, I saw that. And the tragedy of it all is that he has two kids under five and uh, he's still in residency, right? So he doesn't have any money, but he had the special to make this money. And now his career is going to be kind of derailed uh, because of this catastrophic stroke at the age of 31. Now, it's very rare for people that young to have strokes. It turns out that uh, he had, it turns out that he had a venous malformation uh, that actually ruptured because he was hypertensive. Uh, when he presented, he actually had blood pressures up in the, the high two or the sorry, the low two hundreds, systolic, which is extremely elevated. And I can only surmise, right? I'm only a doctor, that I think a lot of this, right, because no 31 year old should have a stroke. I think it has something to do with the long hours we work, with the stress of our jobs, with um the lack of recovery time, lack of life balance, and the years of just grinding and grinding and grinding, trying to get it done. I think it's really problematic and troublesome uh, for people's health. And I can tell you that I've been, like you guys have seen me, I've been fighting a cold for like two and a half months uh, because I don't really necessarily get the time off. I need to fully recover when I'm sick. I just gotta suck it up, put a mask on and get the job done. And I think that um, at UCSD, uh, my anesthesia program does a fairly good job as far as residencies go in terms of taking care of us and, and giving us some sort of wellness training and also emphasizing wellness. But I think as a whole, that residencies can do a whole lot better. And I think it's a travesty that as physicians, we preach self-care to our patients and we aren't allowed to practice self-care as medical students and as residents. And for you guys, maybe no medical students, you know residents, there's very little freedom. And I think that's one of the hardest things about it is it's like you don't have the freedom to get the time off you need. And then if you were to request the time off or say, hey, I need to step back or, hey, you know what, I'm really, I'm feeling depressed or I'm feeling anxious or I'm feeling stressed or I'm feeling sick. If you say those kind of things, you don't, you never want to say those things. Why? One, because you're stigmatized because people will say, oh, you're lazy and you don't want to work. And, you know, to be a doctor, you got to push through that. And the other part of that is when you take a day off, you know, the rest of your residents, the rest of your medical students have to pick up that burden. Right, you, they, everyone else is going to suffer because you step out. So to be a team player, you kind of are pushing the system, and I just think it's a travesty, guys. And I'm, I was like devastated last week when this happened. I, oof, it like it hit me like a ton of bricks. It's like man, because sometimes I feel like man, I might stroke out. Like you, sometimes you feel like that. You guys can imagine these pressure-filled trauma situations. You got this going on. You're dead tired, and you're like, oh man, I got to go another day tomorrow. And you got all this stuff heaped on you, and you're like, your family's upset because you're not around. And you got all this pressure on you, and it can just drive you bananas. And so, uh, I just wanted to say this as almost like a, like a PSA. There's nothing really special tonight, but just as a PSA, we talk about wellness all the time. Wellness is important. If you guys believe wellness is important, like this video right now. If you think wellness matters, if you think self-care matters, like the video right now, guys. I think something has to be done. I think it falls on deaf ears from people who say, oh, back when I trained, we never had a day off. We never left the hospital. And all that is cool and everything is great, but it doesn't mean it was healthy. It's like when people say, oh, we used to smoke on planes. Well, great, you used to smoke on planes, you used to smoke in the doctor's office, great. 
but uh, we now recognize that cigarettes are bad, so we shouldn't smoke. And it's the same way with duty hours, anything with workplace, wellness. It's just a tragedy. And two young kids, career hanging by a thread right now. I'm just, it was devastating for me to go see it and the family's there. And it's like, oh my gosh, a lot of emotions. And what's interesting is I see this all the time as a doctor. I try to stay like impartial and not get too overly emotional about my patients. So it was interesting going in at, you know, as a physician and seeing someone, you know, in there who's, you know, a shade younger than my gray beard having self, uh, having a stroke. And so I just encourage you guys, if you guys are feeling overwhelmed, you guys are feeling burnt out, you guys are feeling whatever, take the time, get your stuff together, take the time, exercise, eat right, do whatever you can because as you guys get closer to this journey, it's going to be harder and harder to maintain that wellness. So get your, get that six pack now so that way when you get into residency, you know, you can come off the pedal a little bit because you're busy and still have some uh, baseline wellness. So that's all I got to say. Uh, some of you guys are commenting on here. I appreciate you guys who are saying prayers out to this person. Um, and who are sending out positive thoughts because it's just very, very sad. Very, very sad. So anyway, uh, that's all I have to say. Nothing nothing crazy. Just take care of yourselves. Take time out. Hug your families. Tell your people that are around you that you love them because you never know when it might be an issue. And take care of you guys yourself today. Okay, get some sleep. Get some exercise. Get some eats. That's it. Yeah, Zach, you're exactly right, right? It makes you consider the irony of being a doctor, take care of others, so that you can be driven to death by a health system. It's really backwards. And no, the resident's not in poor health. Young, healthy, no other risk factors, young guy. You know what I mean? Not like he's in flurred heart failure, not like he's super overweight. It's just what it is, right? It's just life. Saeed, what up? So anyway, I gotta go. Thank you guys very much for hanging out with me. Make sure you guys subscribe, like the channel, keep hanging out with me, keep suggesting videos. And uh, yeah, exactly. I get some sleep for the boot camp. Uh, <laughs> we got the interview boot camp coming up later this week, and then we got the uh, study boot camp happening on Sunday. So I'll see you all there. We had fun last night. I don't know. I'm trying to keep it to an hour, but every week we're going two and a half, three hours on the study boot camp. I can't help that, but I'm excited about that. Um, and I think everyone's learning a lot. So thank you guys very much. Everyone, have a great time.